it's good that uh, today we have just launched the revenue automation uh, uh, system. Uh, and I'm happy to mention that uh, we are the first count to do so in this region. As I mentioned there, this uh, a, a system will, is going to enable us to collect what we have actually put on our budget, which, an, which is a, an estimation of 277 million, million shillings for the next uh, in, 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 in financial year. Uh, indeed, if we achieve, achieve that uh, figure, then we will have tripled would have tripled our revenue in this particular county. As I, I really said, said there, we have many, many challenges. We have many challenges in revenue collection. So at, at times, what all revenue which has been collected has never reached uh, the county treasury. And this time we want to see we, how the collection, or the control of collection is going to take place in this particular county. And I believe that we are going to achieve what we have targeted for. I think in Vega County, we have been, we have been on average. And then whatever the, the, the former local government used to collect and when compared to, to what we are collecting today, it's, it's almost at par. There are some, some areas where it has, it has dropped, yes. And the reason is clear because like Luanda, the Luanda during the, the, the days of local government, they used to collect the need to charge higher uh, 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 fees. But when we, the county government came in, we, we, we said, you know, everybody in the county must pay equal fees. So some of the, the, need, the fees which were higher in Rwanda, they were reduced to, to, to come at par with the fees in Mbale, Majengo, and uh, in and other places. Now I don't, I don't have the figure right away, but uh, uh, perhaps the account secretary. You, do, do, do we, we have the finance person here. Yes. Nick, yeah, the, the the treasurer have told me now they have collected close to 100 million shillings. Yes. Is that for the two financial years? No, for this particular this financial year. Yes. Thank you. Uh, today we are launching the county revenue collection system for the, at the Bihiga County. The objective on this, this particular project is to bring transparency in the process of you know, revenue collection and to ensure the true potential of the money that can be collected by the county should be achieved. This is a continuous journey and Bihiga County has contracted CompuLinks to do this, deliver this you know, the project and this project took us, took us three months to first do a survey of the entire county, do a revenue sources mapping, sit down with the revenue officers, and then design the system to a, situa to a such, such a manner so that the application can be rolled out seamlessly without much, much of a challenge. That's point number one. Point number two, that we are trying to tell people over here, more than the ICT, you know, people look at the ICT project, is actually not a number, more than an ICT process, it is a change management process. The way people are paying, that will change. Today, people have only one option of paying is through cash. But tomorrow, they have got much, much more different ways of they can pay. For example, they can embrace the technologies like M-Pesa, Airtel money, and all various mobile money payment gateways available. The system or the, 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 car, the gadgets that you're providing, it also has got the option of people paying through the online banking system, through the Visa, credit card, and debit cards and all. So we have given a truly scalable solution whereby people can get, the, in the time to come, people can enjoy paying tax much easier, easier way than they are paying today. That is the point number two. And the last but not the least, the objective is that how secure the system is. The, we are saying, you know, no technology in the world is 100% foolproof. Technology, to what is perfect today, may tomorrow will be, you find something new additions into that. So we believe the technology world is constantly moving forward. And our objective over here is that to embrace the best available technologies together. For instance, over here in this particular project, the technology we just look at just as a point of sale or the POS gadget that we are looking at today. 
but the reality is that behind that this application is hosted on the cloud in Amazon. So obviously at any given point of time there is no fear that if there is a physical damage to the server or anything goes down then the system may not work. So we have already hosted the entire application on the cloud so that every terminal is directly, directly connected to the cloud. Second challenge people say if the connectivity is not available what has to be done? We have created a provision the system will work both online as well as offline mode. That means any given point of time if the connectivity is not there the, but the revenue collectors will continue collecting the revenues, issuing the receipts but the moment the connectivity, connectivity is back automatically the information is synchronized with the cloud. And then this information in the cloud again goes and gets synchronized on the server that is physically present at the county. So tomorrow if something goes wrong in the cloud, uh, at least the data is available, a second backup or continuity plan is available at the county level. And thing to achieve over here is that even we are given a developed an Android application and that gives the power to the citizen as well as power to the revenue collector that any money, any receipt they are collecting, they can do the authenticity. Whether this is an authentic receipt or not an authentic receipt, that power is also been given to the people. So we are talking here about a point of sale system, we are talking about a cloud application, we are talking about a back-end portal where the revenue officer sitting in the head office, they can see what exactly happening in the cloud and we have given a BI tool, business intelligence tool to the governor, His Excellency the governor, as well as we have given citizens the Android based application to verify every money they are paying whether it is authentic or not. So keeping all these technologies together, we are trying to, I believe, maybe after six months when you meet, we, we may add more technologies to it to ensure that this technology journey goes hand in hand with us. Thank you very much. We believe, for example, like, you know, the statistics, you know, the exact statistics I may not, you know, available with me that the revenue officer of the county can comment. But we believe roughly in an average they collect around, you know, 300 million ceiling that as the, His Excellency has given the figure. And we believe, strongly believe that with the devolution and lot of businesses coming into this market, you, we see at least a growth of more than, you know, 20 to 30 percent growth we are seeing in that revenue figure alone. Now that 300 million we're looking at at least going up to the level of 400 million if we are looking at the normal statistics. But by bringing more efficiency that to the entire system, we believe another like you know 50 to 100 million growth in the revenue collection figures. So we believe the next financial year we must reach 500 million mark from the revenue that has been collected in the county.